Hello everyone, my name is Piyush Sachdeva. Welcome to another video in the series of Namaste Google Cloud, where I will be publishing GCP videos every week. In this video, I will show you how you can use Google Cloud Marketplace, what are the limitations with it, and what are the pros and cons of using it. Please watch the complete video as we will be doing some knowledge checks at the end with some sample exam questions. If you are planning for Associate Cloud Engineer certification, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon to get notified about all my upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I've logged into my Google Cloud console and I'll go over here in the search bar and search for marketplace. Hit over here. Once you are inside the marketplace, you will see a lot of packages that is there for you to use. These are again the production grade packages. And once you choose to deploy one of those, you wouldn't have to worry about configuring the virtual machine storages or network settings. You can optionally alter those settings, but you can also go with the default one. So let's say I would like to install a lamp stack. So I'll just search lamp from here and hit enter. And now over here as well, you'll see there are 50 results just for the lamp stack. So the first one over here is lamp stack click to deploy virtual machine. It consists of Linux, Apache, HTTP, MySQL and PHP. Once you click over here to the package and scroll down a bit, you will see the software versions inside that particular package. For example, it has Apache 2, 2.4 or 38 and it has PHP 7.4.29 and so on. And uh, for the pricing, you scroll down a bit and you will see there is no usage fee for this particular package, but it will have the infrastructure cost for one shared vCPU and 2 GB of memory, which is 1557. And there is a storage charge as well for 10 GB of SSD disk, which is 60 cents. And then estimated monthly total would be your 1617. And when it comes to providing support based on the SLAs, it says Google does not offer support for this solution. However, community support is available on Stack Overflow. Please keep that in mind that solution deployed by Marketplace are third party softwares and are not supported by GCP support. Google also provide Marketplace solutions. Make sure you check the details of the Marketplace product before start using it. For example, if you are using a Bitnami image, you should be contacting Bitnami support team and not the GCP support team. To deploy a particular solution, you select the image. Let's say we select this one and hit over here to the launch after verifying all the details like the package content, VM instance size and type, or the estimated monthly cost and the support provider, right? Once you've verified everything, hit over here, launch. And if you are using it for the first time, it will again ask you to enable the APIs. So because we already have Compute Engine API enabled, it will ask you to enable rest of the APIs such as Deployment Manager and Runtime Configuration API. So I'll hit enable. Okay, once it is enabled, it will redirect you to the setup screen where you could just name your deployment. This is not your instance name, but your deployment name. Let's call it test deployment. Select the zone in which you want it to be provisioned. So I'll just keep it default for now. Then you select the machine type. So by default, this is E2 small. Let's select E2 micro, which is even a smaller one. And you will see the change in pricing structure over here on the right side. Then optionally, you could install PHP my admin or you could just uncheck this box if you don't want that. It has a boot disk of uh, type standard persistent disk and this is of 10 GB. You can update the size from here as well. And this is the default network interface attached to it with slash 20 as the subnet mask and you could optionally allow 
एस टी टी पी और एस टी टी पी एस ट्रैफिक फ्राम द इंटरनेट दैट मीन्स फ्राम सोर्स आई पी जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो और यू कुड जस्ट स्पेसीफाई द सोर्स आई पी रेंज ओवर हेयर इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट इट टू बी पब्लिकली अवेलेबल ओवर द इंटरनेट दीज आर द ऑप्शन फॉर स्टैक ड्राइवर लॉगिंग एंड मॉनिटरिंग स्टैक ड्राइवर विच इज़ ऑल्सो नोन एज क्लाउड मॉनिटरिंग एंड क्लाउड लॉगिंग यू कुड एनेबल दोज एंड यू कुड जस्ट एक्सेप्ट द जी सी पी मार्केट प्लेस टर्म्स एंड हिट डिप्लॉय वंस यू डिप्लॉय यू विल सी द स्क्रीन समथिंग लाइक दिस सो दिस इज यूजिंग सम जिंजा टैम्पलेट टू प्रोविजन द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर यू एंड ओवर हेयर यू विल सी देर इज वन वी एम इंस्टेंस क्रिएटेड देर इज अ पासवर्ड जनरेटेड and there are two firewall rules created one which allows traffic on port 80 another one on port 443 so you see how easy it is to provision a infrastructure stack without having to configure all the minute details it says it has some warnings hit over here view details it says some of the features uh, is in beta so it's fine for now right i'll just go back and it is created now you'll see you'll have gce vm instance created so you can go to the vm instance from here or from the gce console itself so i'll just click over here and hit over here manage resource or directly ssh into that let's click on manage resource and you'll see all the details over here right this is the vm name uh we gave the deployment name as test deployment that is why this vm name is test hyphen deployment hyphen vm which is auto generated and it was created in this particular region status is running okay so i'll just click over here and hit ssh let's do ssh into the vm hit connect right i am inside the vm let's do php hyphen v and it says php 7.4.29 has already been installed okay i'll just clear the screen and you'll see other details as well this is the site address this is the admin url for php my admin if you click over here it will open a new tab for you right so this is php my admin page and here are the details of my sql user and the password which is a temporary password so if you go back over here again even though you could just run a apt-get update or apt-get install a upgraded version let's say apt-get install php 8 even though you can do that you can run this command but this is not supported as per the support agreement so if you do that your support will be violated you won't be able to get support from the required third party seller or the first party seller which is gcp so to, in order to avoid that let's say you have to upgrade php version from 7.4.29 to 8.0 then go to the marketplace and look for a newer image of version 8 instead of ju just upgrading it from here by yourself so you have to redeploy the package with the required configuration and if your supported package is not available in the marketplace then you could just create your own instance in gce and configure them to run your own apps and services make sure you know all the limitations of it and use it if that is a good fit for your use case so mostly it is intended to be used as a isolated production ready system and if you need to upgrade the version of a software package you would have to redeploy the package using a different cloud marketplace image so let's say you don't want to use the services anymore due to any particular reason you just hit over here delete and then it will ask you two options whether you want to just delete the deployment but keep resources created by it or delete the deployment as well as all the resources created by it so i'll just select the first version and hit delete all and uh, all of your resources will be deleted after this okay it's been deleted and you don't have any deployment present right now 
Let's do a quick knowledge check of what we have learned so far related to Cloud Marketplace. Let's say one of your developers needs a Jenkins server in an isolated environment using the fewest possible steps. Which GCP service would you recommend? You can create a production grade environment using Cloud Marketplace. Is that statement true or false? Which GCP service would you use to manage the deployments of Cloud Marketplace? GCP provides SLA support for all the images in Cloud Marketplace. Is that statement true or false? That's it for this video guys. If you know the answer of these questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Or if you have any doubts in understanding the concept, then also feel free to ask in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to help you out. I hope you would have enjoyed the video and learned something out of it. If you did, please hit the bell icon and subscribe the channel to get notified about all my upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you soon with the next video.